All right. One other thing, speaking of relays, before we leave, I'm sure you guys saw this by now, but Oregon Track and Field tweeted out the other day that there's going to be a four-by-mile, well, they're calling it a world-best attempt with Cooper Tier, Cole Hawker, James West, and Matt Wisner for Oregon alums. And then they said at the bottom, We've reached out to multiple pro and college teams, but haven't gotten any takers. Eye emojis. And the more I look at that tweet, the more it just pisses me off. Because there is a meet, one of the most famous trap meets in the entire world, taking place one week later. It's called the Pen Relays. There's a professional four by mile in that meet. The On Athletics Club has already said they're targeting the world best in that event. This has been publicized well in advance. And now Oregon is trying to suggest that people are dodging them. No one wants to race them. This is absurd. They can easily fly on a plane to Philadelphia, race in this meet, and go for the record against On. Yet they are just choosing to hang at home. And I'm like, this is the same team when they said it. They tried to go for the American record indoors. They had a closed off race in Chicago. It's the same team that ran a three-mile time trial at Stanford instead of going to World Indoors. I mean, sorry. I, I just It's the tone of the tweet more than anything. Just saying, like, we've reached out to multiple pro teams and haven't had any takers. Like, come on. Run Penn. What, this is what's wrong with the sport, people. The tweet absolutely pisses me off as well, John. Like, come on. Just stop acting like, like people are ducking you. Yes, go to Penn. Does Nike no longer sponsor Penn? Is that why they're not going? Oh, On's, On's, On's the sponsor of Penn now. That's why they go. got this floor. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Hello, bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. And, you know, but look, John, think about it from their self centered They need the Oregon. What's the big thing? Why did Martin Smith get fired at Oregon? He wasn't super successful, but he was pretty successful. But he didn't cater to the crowd, the hometown track boosters. He didn't do anything about the fans. And, what is Robert Johnson, the coach of Oregon, now get criticized for? Not running enough home meets, not catering to the fan, local fans. Everything is everything now is you go to these other meets in front. So they have a home meet. They need to have something for the fans to get excited for. So instead of making the college kids run something big, why not make the pros do it? Entertain the fans. It's an easy thing. I, I mean, I don't know the details of this, but this is what it's striking me as. Hey, this would be a good thing. We can blow 16 minutes of entertainment here with this event. And we don't want to go support an on event anyway. So that's, it's just people doing it. And I really hope that this New Balance track doesn't become a thing where people won't go there because it's a New Balance track. If that's the case, then people should start skipping USAs because it's on a Nike track. So um, it is what it is, man. I mean, disappointing. I mean, Robert, you're probably onto something about entertaining the Oregon fans. Everyone's in their little bubble, right? No one gives a shit about everybody else. That's a problem with the sport. But, John, the good thing was people on Twitter, they weren't having it right away. Someone's like, or, you know, they could race the OAC at Penn Relays who already announced their tensions three months ago. And then he throws a little shade. I know Cooper and Cole love a good time trial, though. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Next one, or the second one after that. Crap like this is what kills the sport. There's literally Penn and Drake relays. So I've never heard John give a rant before. I mean, John, I was going to bring this up. John, I'm glad to see you getting upset about something. I, no, it's just there's something that irritates me. Like trying to, it's if you want to just publicize the event, fine. And then we can criticize it. But don't act like you're trying to seek out the best competition and no one will race you. We, you know where the competition is in this same exact meet. The same exact event a week later. The thing is, though, so two other things on this. One, I don't even know what you would call this if they get the record because it's not a world record because it's not an official World Athletics World Record event. And normally for a world best, I thought for a world best, you need to still be from the same country. Like the current world best is 1549 by an Irish team from 1985. But Cooper Tier, Cole Hawker, and Matt Wisner, they're all American, but James West is British. So I don't know if he even qualifies as a world best. They would just call it the fastest time ever run. And that's also the same thing that would happen with On because their squad is supposed to be Geordie Beamish, Morgan McDonald, Joe Klecker, and Ollie Hoare. They're from three different countries. 
I also, I will say this, and this could end up bailing Oregon out, is Morgan McDonald basically hasn't been racing. Joe Klecker hasn't been racing. On might pull the plug on that attempt if their guys aren't healthy. I think they have Carlos Villarreal, who also hasn't been racing. So if they only have three healthy guys or two healthy guys for that race, they might say, oh, it's no point going for it. We're not even going to run it. And if that's the case, then, okay, Oregon gets the record and they, they didn't waste time flying out to Penn. But, you know, I, I sincerely hope they reached out to On and maybe if On said they weren't going to run, they gave him a heads up. Because otherwise, this they should, these two pro groups should be racing each other, not just the clock. What's the record, John? 1549. Look, it doesn't bother it doesn't bother me that they're not in the same country. Who cares? It's not a real world record. Just run the fastest time ever. Hey, if on has two people and they need somebody to run, they need to pay somebody else from another street company to just hop on the team and go for the world record. Like you've hyped it as a world record attempt, own it up now and do something. It doesn't have to be just an on team that does it. It can be two on members that do it with somebody else. I guess it would be helpful if we were all from the same country to sell it a little bit better, better to the media. I was thinking nobody was going to get it, John, because of the on injuries, but Cooper and Cole, and guess also what you got in Oregon, John, the pacing lights. And having seen the pacing lights for the first time ever in New Balance, they make it huge. It just makes it easier. Well, for the fans and journalists, for sure, but I think for the runners, right? You yeah. just, ch especially in a four by mile, you're kind of bored. There's no one there. Just chase the light, stay ahead of the light. Now, they're going to need Cole Cooper. But they can set the lights individually for each way because Cooper and Cole are going to need to get like way ahead of the record. Have the other guys just sort of hold on. So, I don't know. This whole thing's a bit bizarre. You know, we have a high school team now pulling out of a meet like, what, two weeks in advance? This this is... Who knew the drama in the four-by-mile this year? Yeah, well, what about this theory? Robert, you say they need an extra leg. How about they fly out Colin Solomon to run on the on-team? You know, assuming he's healthy and doesn't, you know, able to run, maybe his whole team couldn't do that. But you put him on; he's a three fifty eight guy. Hype him up as part of the attempt. So some good well down the road. That's yeah. the New Balance strategy of getting Rasheem Willis and Sidney McLaughlin. I think that would be pretty fun.